Here's the easiest video background remover tools to help you remove video background quickly and easily. I've tested all the top options and I've narrowed it down to two simple tools that will give you great results without using a green screen. So this is an area that's actually changing really, really quickly with the power of some of the AI tools that are available right now. And some of these tools are even integrated into popular video editing apps and software too. So much so that the results now, even in some free tools are incredible and will save you a ton of time without needing to use a green or a blue screen. So the first option I've got for you is CapCut. CapCut is an amazing free with paid option video editing software that's available on Android, on iOS, on Windows and on Mac. And right now you can do everything I'm gonna show you just in the free version. All right, so I've opened up CapCut. I've got a piece of footage here in our timeline that we wanna remove the background from. And I'm showing you this on a Mac, but the process is gonna be very similar on Windows, but also on your iPhone or Android device too. So with the clip selected here in the timeline, we wanna come up the top here to cut out. And then we wanna check this little box here, auto cut out. You see it's going through and it's processing our clip now. And we can see that really quickly, it's gone ahead and removed the background for us. So now I can go ahead and bring in a background image or a background graphic video file that we wanna use behind this. So I'm just gonna choose import. Let's go find the files here. Let's import those in. These are clips from Storyblocks. There is some built-in stock footage here inside of CapCut, but for licensing issues and all of that stuff, we just recommend Storyblocks. It's our number one place for stock footage. So I've got this clip here. Let's bring this down into our timeline and let's now lift this clip here up above it. So now if we play through this, we can see that I'm talking and we've got this animated background behind it. If we wanna see what it looks like with a different clip, we can delete this one. We can drag in our other clip down here and we can see how that works. And with this top clip here, because it is its own separate clip, we can actually pick it up, we can move it around, we can scale it up or down as we need to, to get the look that you're after. So that's a really fast and free way that you can do that in CapCut. The second option I've got is to use tools like Canva and even Adobe Express. Both of these online tools now support background removal for video files as well. So I'm just gonna show you in Adobe Express. We wanna head over to adobe.com forward slash express, or there is a link in the description box as well. You then need to create a free Adobe account if you don't have one already, or you wanna go ahead and log in. From here, we want to come across to video. And in our case, we wanna make a widescreen video. So we're gonna just choose here, YouTube video. Let's go create from scratch. Obviously, if you wanna do this for a portrait video or a square video, you could select that from there too. Now we wanna go ahead and upload our video footage here. So you wanna make sure you're over here on the media tab and we're gonna choose upload from device, find our video clip here. And we can see that it's uploading with this little icon here in the corner. And we will need to wait for that clip to finish uploading before we can remove the background. But you can see straight away with this clip here selected, we have the option up here for background removal right at the top. We can see our upload progress happening over here on the right hand side as well. So once that clip is uploaded and it's done processing, you can see that we've got the option here now for, for background removal. So I'm gonna click on this one here. It's gonna go through and process our video again. We can see that it's working with that little loading bar there. So once that's done, we can see the background is removed. It's gone white here. Again, this is a clip that we can pick up and we can move around. Now this preview image here is a lower quality preview than what we'll get when we actually save out this video file. So some of the edges here look a little bit jagged right now, but that's just to make this preview happen quicker. Now let's just add something in the background. Maybe we'll come over here to background color and we can start to add some different things in the background here so that we can see that that actually has been removed. Maybe we'll just search for a piece of footage here, city street. So let's pick this one here. Let's scale this up here and we can see that's on top of our clip. So we want to pull this down below it so that we're now seeing me on top of it. If we click on that video of me, again, we can move it around, we can pick it up, we can scale it as we need to. And then if we hit play, we can see all of this happen in real time. If no one clicks on it, no one's going to see. So then to download your clip, we can just choose download up here. We can then choose our file format, our video resolution, and we hit download and that's gonna to save to our computer. Now you are able to use the background remover right now for free in Adobe Express. But if we bring up the pricing here, if we scroll down under the free plan, it does say that effects like background removal, it's limited free background removal. So we can use it, but there is a limit to it. If you want unlimited access to this tool, and all the other features here in Adobe Express, then that's where you'll need to jump on their premium plan, $9.99 per month. That's if billed monthly. If we switch it to annual, 
and that's $99.99 per year. Then there is a way that you could remove the background in those applications and then take those clips to use in your chosen editing tool. So we're back over here now in CapCut and I'll show you how this works. Let's just remove this background here. So we've just got our transparent video here. Maybe we will scale this back up so it's back to our original size. And then we just wanna add in a green background instead. So we come up here to media, let's come down here to library. And then we're gonna search here for green background. We're gonna scroll down and find a solid green like this one here. Let's click and drag this down onto our timeline. Let's stretch it out so that it fills the entire length of the video. And you can see it's now added there as the background color. Now we just wanna scale this up so that it fits our entire video background here. And essentially what we've done is we've created a green screen background for this. So now when we save out this clip, let's choose export and let's save it on our desktop here. So once it's saved out, we can then open up really any other video editing application. In this case, I've got Adobe Premiere here. We can import that clip from CapCut and then we just need to apply a green screen effect to it to remove this green, which in Premiere is over here under effects, down here under video effects, then down to keying. And the one we want in here is the ultra key. So let's drag this onto our clip here. We can then come up to our effect parameters here. Then we'll grab this little eyedropper here and we're gonna select the color that we wanna remove, which is the green. And it's gonna go ahead and remove that for us. So that clip here now is transparent, meaning that we can come back here, we can bring in one of our backgrounds underneath it. Maybe we'll scale it up so that it fills our whole screen. And we've now easily removed the background from this video. And again, that will work with both methods that I showed you. So now that you know how to remove the background from your videos, if you wanna learn how to edit faster and edit in the most efficient way with minimal wasted time or rework, you can download our free video editing guide, which is linked on screen now. There's also a bunch of editing tips and resources in that document for you too. So make sure you download your free copy and I will see you in the next video.